I'm doing it so much better than I ever have. And I lived alone for a lot of years, and I was much better at it then. <laughs> so no, you, you weren't. No. We love you, but... Yeah. No, tell me. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> you weren't so much better at it, you just had less to try to manage. Yeah. In other words, when you're all alone, there's not nearly as many people to bug you. Yeah. <laughs> but then... You must become a hermit to be happy. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. And in time, you won't even like yourself. Yeah. In other words, that never works. It's so much better to stabilize and look for things that feel good wherever you are, mm -hmm. and then you can go anywhere mm -hmm. and feel good. I want that. And I love the richness in my life, and I love all of the people, and I love the variety. And most of the time I really am just devouring it and finding so many wonderful things about it we want to go back to this chaos thing because we know how uncomfortable that feels mm -hmm. and we want you to realize that anytime you give your attention to anything your attention to it activates the vibration of it within you and a feeling of being scattered or confused that chaotic feeling is about focusing upon lots of different things and usually contradictory things mm -hmm. so that they're all activated within you so that you're running around on the brink of things being activated depending upon what your environment totally brings to you and that makes you feel like you want to hide from people it makes you feel like you want to close yourself off from them where when you show yourself by practicing when it's comfortable to do so and that it usually begins when you're by yourself as you practice choosing thoughts that feel good and you use your willpower to focus upon them because they feel good what happens is in a very short period of time you deactivate by virtue of activating these things you deactivate those things so that law of attraction must give you more of those kinds of things so then your life becomes one of greater harmonics instead of disharmonics mm -hmm. you don't want to be single-minded because we like the word you use you like the richness and fullness of the variety of your experience but you can have richness in harmony or you can have richness or variety in disharmony or discord so it's all about my newfound determination to focus with the intention of generating a feeling that feels good to me while I do it that really is the key to what we call in this workshop art of allowing the art of allowing all of the wonderful things in that want in by virtue of my releasing resistance which is the only thing that's been keeping them out there are two things that we would encourage you to do in terms of action sit every day for 15 minutes with the intention of filling your body full of air breathe 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 just breathe that's your assignment 15 minutes of breathing 15 minutes of in and out in and out and appreciation for this delicious oxygen in and out in and out in and out just breathing 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 if you would just do that your chaotic world would smooth right out it would just by focusing on breathing for 15 minutes every day 15 minutes of breathing really breathing breathing with the idea of filling my body filling my lungs so that my lungs can transport the oxygen and all of its life-giving qualities to the extremities of my body breathing if you're running if you're moving your body you're doing it automatically but breathe 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 it is the exercise of allowing uh, above all other exercises of allowing in other words the the air is there for you the well-being is there for you source energy is lined everything up for you just breathe yourself into receiving the fullness and no chaos there just breathe just breathe it is the most natural thing in the world you are worthy and loved and brilliant and your life has caused you to launch so many rockets that are right there ready to come into fruition just breathe them into being 
And then after you breathe for 15 minutes every day for a while, then use that time to breathe and love me, breathe and love me, breathe and love the air, breathe and love my body, breathe and love my nose, breathe and love my lungs, breathe and love my physical mechanism. Just breathe and love and breathe and love and breathe and love and breathe and love. And after you've done that for a few days, then breathe and love that one over there and breathe and love that one over there and breathe and love and breathe and love and before you know it that chaos which is only because of too many activated things within you lines right up to this perfect picture that you've been accumulating over many many years that source energy has already become and then suddenly you begin noticing that who you have become in terms of non-physical energy you just begin becoming in terms of manifestation you just become it and when people say how did you do it was it hard you say it was as easy as breathing really 